Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we are going to see about how to run a load test using the open model thread group. So in our previous video we saw about how to run a load test using the ultimate thread group and in this video we are going to see about how to run a load test using the open model thread group. And before that, let before we move on to the video, I request you all to subscribe to our channel. If you have not subscribed yet, please do support my channel. That way it's going to be a big help for me. And please do like, comment your questions and any queries in the comment section. And before we move on to the how to use the open model thread group or what and how is it going to work we will see so there was a question in our previous video on how did we add the active threads over time or the bytes throughput over time so let me show you so in options under options if you go to plugins manager and under th three basic graphs i can uh, you can see the active threads active thread over time graph and under five additional graphs you can see the bytes throughput graph so these are the very very important and most useful graph when you are trying to bring it up for your summary report so just make sure you have these and in case if you do not know how to add this plugins manager i have a separate video on how to bring your jmeter plugins manager please do check that video and with no further ado let's go to the video today so today we are going to see about the open model thread group and how to add that so go to the test plan right click add threads and under threads you have the open model thread group and under open model thread group so this is quite different from our previous ultimate thread group so here you, you could see the start threads count we have we can we can see the initial delays we can see the startup time and the whole load so this is the duration for the load test and then the shutdown time but in the open model thread group here we have got the rates we have got the random arrivals, we have got the pass or the comment. So we will see what are they and how to use that. And before that, let's see for what type of load testing does it help. Say for example, in this particular thread group, here we can define the thread count, which is the number of users. And anywhere we cannot set up the number of hits right so if the user or if we can set up one user per minute or if he runs for one minute that's how he actually executes the test and any number of hits he can execute and there is no option to define the number of hits but in most of our scenarios sometimes we might get the requirement as we are supposed to run our by using the workload modeling we can define the or we can find the uh, users based on the number of hits but what in some scenarios where you are or you could or you must need to run them only with the number of hits right so in those scenarios so this is a typical or this is a more unique scenario where you might need this when you are running a load test with the requirement as number of hits so this rate per minute is the number of hits so let me show you an example so first let me add a pass so this is going to be the pre test execution so let me keep it for this is going to be an example so I'm just keeping it for five minutes and then the rate so I'm just adding the rate and then so in some scenarios we might get that for example we might need to achieve 2000 hits per hour so here we have three options we have got seconds we have got minutes so we, so in cases so for example in most of the scenarios where we might be confused so how many hours or how many hits do we need to achieve so for example if we i'm saying like if i want to achieve 2000 hits per second so that that means that for every two milliseconds i need to have one hit so two hits Per millisecond so in case if I'm changing it to minutes I need to achieve 33 hits per second and what if I'm running it for an hour so I'm running it for an hour I need to achieve 33 hits per minute right but here 
nowhere we are defining the users we are just just giving the number of users and then I'm giving the random arrival rate so this is going to be the duration so for example if I'm running it for 60 minutes so when I'm running it for 60 minutes so I should achieve 2000 hits in 60 minutes which is in one hour and then finally I'll add a pass of five minutes so in this way you can see so we start a test at the fifth minute and then we are running a test for so this is again this is something similar to the steady state which we see here but that is actually not a proper steady state it's actually a rate where we have a maximum of 33 hits per minute so we will achieve a 33 hits per minute because we have divided the 2000 hits in 60 minutes so for example if i'm running it for 50 minutes so here you can see automatically this gets so this is anyways it's defined already so if i'm running it for 50 minutes so i'll be achieving 50 into 33 hits per minute which is going to be 1500 so in case if i'm running it for 30 again it's going to be the same so the total duration is going to be 40 and so since i have defined it as 2000 per hour so which means the hits is going to be 33 per minute so 33 multiplied by 30 it's going to be around 990 hits so let me change it to 60 so in this way you we, we can achieve six 2000 hour hits in 60 minutes so for example let me just take you through a simple example so i just need 100 hits in one minute okay and then let me change this to five seconds of pass before and after so this is always a good practice to have some breathing space before and after the test so i'm going to run this test for one hour so i'm not going to have this for one hour it's going to be for 100 hits per minute so you got it me you got me right so i need to achieve 100 hits per minute so what in case if i'm changing it to r so if you're changing it to r then we might not be able to achieve and it's going to be so if it is 100 in one hour which is going to be which is 100 divided by 60 which is going to be you will be getting around one or two hits between one minute so we in case if we are changing the duration we should automatically change the duration as well so it's going to be the rate which is going to be 100 hits per minute and the random arrival is going to be one minute so we're going to run a test for one minute and we are supposed to achieve 100 so let me start the test and before that i have the active threads over time ready and then the byte throughput over time ready then they have a summary report so let me just clear it and let me start the test over at existing file let's wait in the active threads over time because i have got five seconds and here you can see automatically the number of users will change when we are running the test in here let's wait for a few seconds to start the test so i'm really sorry i have not kept any test inside it so please forgive me for that so let me just copy this scenario from here let me just copy it copy paste so here i have got these scenarios and this is going to be the header because when we are having both of them in the same name so automatically when it when it comes to the summary report we will be having two two um, or twice of the transaction names so now we are good let me run the test again sorry for the confusion let me start the test again let's go to the active threads over time let's wait for a few more seconds and yes here we have started we, we will get the users in here on the top you can see so the, this in here it the running number of threads automatically or dynamically changes during the test and that's how this otg works this open thread group uh, model thread group works so here you can see the user count auto or dynamically changes it, it's not static it's completely dynamic but the expectation is we are supposed to achieve the number of hits that we want and it can be achieved automatically through or 
it can be pushed by this thread group so we don't need to worry about how many users we are going to set we just need to worry about what is or how many users are we going or how many hits are we going to need and it's not about anywhere so you don't just need to break your head for you by by you using this workload modeling or anything else just throw the number of hits automatically this thread group will help you will in fact navigate through the entire test you know just not to do need to break your head again with uh, multiplication division this that and all these things just through the number of users and automatically it will give you the results so let's go to the summary report and here you can see we have achieved 100 so here here i've shown you 100 hits per minute and the arrival rate is going to be one minute and very easy pc we have got 100 samples in one hour and there are no errors everything went fine the average response time is 110 milliseconds the minimum and the maximum so here we have you can see i have never used any of the hits or any of the user load i just throw the i've just given the number of hits i wanted and then the duration just that automatically this system will help you to bring the user or the thread groups up and down so it even went to zero and the maximum is up to 11 users for one particular second so this way we can achieve it so i think this one so this model thread group or this open model thread group will be very useful when in case if you want to run a load test with something not not with the users but we have to achieve something like a 300 hits per minute or 300 or 3000 hits per hour you can definitely definitely use this open model thread group so with that we come to an end and i believe this video would be very 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 useful to you so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from asan shanmugam and little slaw